Hey guys and gals, Salim Rezai here. I got asked to make a video on vector change defibrillation after I posted my video on dual sequential external defibrillation. And this is not a difficult concept, but I thought it was worthwhile just to go through the procedure itself. So I think the first thing we should start with is the theory here. And there's really two theories at play. There's vector change, so changing the vector in which the electricity is hitting the heart. And then there's energy change, which with dual sequential external defibrillation is increased energy. Now, when we're talking about vector change defibrillation, we're basically talking about taking our pads from an anterolateral position to an anteroposterior position. And the thought here is that by changing pad placement, this allows for defibrillation of a portion of the ventricle that may not be completely defibrillated with pads in the standard anterolateral position. So it's really just changing the vector of where the pads are located. Now this is pretty basic, but anterolateral pad placement, so pad number one is gonna be on the right chest, just below the clavicle and just above the nipple line. Pad number two is gonna be on the left lower lateral side of the chest, just below the nipple line, or with women just at the breast crease is where that pad will be placed. And so that's anterolateral. So right chest and just below the level of the, the nipple on the lateral kind of lower side of the chest. Now, when we're gonna do vector change and go to anteroposterior pad placement, so the first pad is placed anteriorly, but on the left side of the chest. And it's the left anterior chest just between the midline of the chest itself and the left nipple. So we're kind of like halfway up the chest between these two kind of landmarks. The posterior pad gets placed in the left side of the back, just to the left of the spine, and some say just below the level of the inferior border of the scapula, or if you're just a little bit on the scapula, that's okay as well. And so that's kind of the difference in pad placement. And I just wanted to make this video just to kind of show you where the pads will actually go in these patients. So there's a short little video on vector change defibrillation. This is my preferred choice over dual sequential external defibrillation. Um, and I just thought it would be worthwhile to go over this since several people asked about it. Well, there you have it. Leave me your thoughts, comments, and questions. Thanks for tuning in and until next time.